o'clock, Oregon voters are reporting getting robocalls, telling them their vote will not count. And we did some digging tonight. We found out who's behind those calls, or Lisa Balick's been working on this all day. She joins us live, and I know you have some new information here, Lisa. That's right, Jeff. I just got off the phone with the head of the Oregon Republican Party, who tells me that's who's making the calls. Your voter registration has been marked inactive. This could be the result of a change of address recently, or as part of the motor voter law that was enacted this year. This means you may not have received your ballot for next Tuesday. These calls are coming in to voters in many Oregon counties. Tillamook, Clackamas, Coos County. Often the voters already have their ballots, but the calls make them worried that those ballots are no good. If you have a ballot, your ballot will count. But Oregon's Secretary of State tells me this is an attempt at voter suppression. Sending a message to people that their vote will not be counted is, I think, a very negative message to send and does uh, cause people to question whether or not they are appropriately registered. So who is behind the calls? The Oregon Republican Party is reaching out to legitimately registered Republican voters who are currently marked inactive by the Secretary of State and have not received their ballot uh, because many of them are not aware that they will not be able to vote. And our goal is to help them get their ballot so they can cast their vote in this election. The robocalls urge voters to call or visit their county elections office, even giving the address and phone number of the closest one. The Secretary of State says ignore the recording and get your ballot in. If you have a ballot in hand, your registration is active, and if you get that ballot to a ballot box or a clerk's office by 8 o'clock next Tuesday, it will be counted. Now, the Oregon Department of Justice was investigating this today to find out who was at the bottom of this, but the head of the Republican Party just told me the Secretary of State called him late this afternoon to tell me they have determined these efforts, these robocalls, are legitimate. Are okay. legitimate. But the last thing we need, more confusion. That's in just this what I was going to say. Year. Because there are a fair number of people who actually have their ballots, yeah. and the call was directed to perhaps somebody else in right. their household. So people are saying, is my ballot any yes. good? If you have a ballot, turn it in. It is good. It is good. That's good to know. Thank you, you for following up on that, Lisa. Sure.